Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arduino Hartwin, and we're going to be playing more Night in the Woods today. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, last time we went to a party, got drunk, said a lot of bad things because it, it was a mess. And now May is asleep, and I'm assuming this is her dream, so we're going to get right into it here. So let's let's go. She has a bat. Looks like she wants to hit stuff. I can... I can... Okay, I can swing. I wonder what she has to... I wonder why she has a bat in the first place. Does she have to, like, fight off some of her demons or something? Or... Oh, like... What? I, I, can I jump on that? No, I can't. Okay. There's weird dash things. But, man, the art here is really cool. I love it so much. Dirk, Dirk, Dirkillis, Dirkillisburg, Dirkillisburg. I wonder. Okay, I don't know where we are. I have no idea where we are anymore. Uh, is she a ghost? A lot of fiasco on the ground. Let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. Looks like this look like bowling balls or something. Oh, that's kind of freaked me out a little bit. Enough with the birds. I get it. Oh, this is very strange. Can I Oh, okay. Am I supposed to be looking for something? Okay. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't. Okay. I was trying to break the back window, but I don't think I can do that. So no one wants me to go up. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go up. I was gonna go back down and try to hit the cars on the ground, but... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. What is this? Okay, well I can't destroy that. It looks like an enemy though. Oh, can I? Oh gosh. Get up! Okay. Oh! I wonder... Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this, but it's also really like... Wow! Does she want to die? Like, what's going on? Uh... Okay. Well, that was fun. Don't really know what the point of it was, but... I guess we'll figure out... Figure it out? I'm not sure. Achievement unlocked. Welcome back. Part 2. Weird Autumn. I wonder how many parts there are in this game. So, we've been through one part so far. So I just... I wonder. Also, how long is it? Don't know. Ugh. Wake up. Good morning. Now you get to remember all the weird stuff you did last night. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out, live out my remaining days at, as a shrieking ghost. Yep. But become a fire ghost and yell at people. I'm not sure I approve of that, May, but I'm not you, so. Uh, check the computer. Maybe Angus or Greg left me some messages. 
<clears throat> and, oh, yep, they did. Okay. Let's try Angus. Or B. Oh, this is B. I was right. Okay. Hey. Sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day if you want to stop by. Hmm. Okay. Hey, dude. You okay? Last night was P. was B intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack. I'm at Snack Falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Band jam later. OMG. The end. <laughs> Angus didn't say anything. Um, I could play Demon Tower again, but I'm gonna move on with the story. Maybe I'll come back like when I'm not recording a video and play it and see what happens. I'm not sure if that's uh, gameplay worthy. Oh good. I was right. I look like utter hell. Burn it. Or, you know, just try to be a better person? Her... I don't know. Sis. Afternoon, us. Hmm. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. wonder how old this thing is. I don't think he moved anything, but we're just gonna make sure. Nope, he didn't. Okay. So, I imagine our parents probably want to talk to us, but I want to talk to the bird first. Sup, bird? Okay, bye, bird. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Say hi to who? Is it Aunt Mall Cop? Oh, nope, it's just, okay, it's just mom wanting to talk to us. Hey, hun, you look like crap. Yep. Rough night. No, just tired. Is that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. And if you want to talk about it... Saw so Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? I don't really remember. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. Yeah, just, just fill it out, May. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on the power lines. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard the story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. That's kind of messed up. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No. God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. F the cops. <laughs> Thought, never drink again or go in public. Everything feels bad. Aww. Poor May. God, she's just having like the worst time. But thankfully, the construction the, all the construction workers moved out because that means we get to go to more parts of the 
of the city and or of the town, I guess. And he goes, oh, well, they're still here, so I guess I can't go that way. But where can I go? I just like jumping on stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna go on those power lines. Hey, May. Hey, Summers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Sure, let's hear one. My heart is a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is is a Eunice. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. <laughs> We're just friends. Mr. Chazikov's up on the roof again. I'll check the note in a minute. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Ta-da! It's Summers, a poet. That was a very interesting poem about your horse. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof if he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick a you're gonna to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. Is that I don't remember inviting I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. Is that... who is that? Oops, didn't get far enough. Oh, okay, that's not... he just has the same color-ish of text that, um, Angus does. So let's go... let's go try and mingle with whoever that is up there. Mr. Chazikov, is that what his name was? May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What's dusk, dusk stars? Wandering stars of wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? It is a trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight, only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. Excellent. Holy crap, my eyes! Yeah, don't don't look at the sun. Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. The sun is bright, make you, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. So are they... Is it like that one? Can I click on it? Or... What's that? Okay, so when it found one, I think? Let me have a look. Looks like Greg. <laughs> kind of. Ah, uh, yes, Castius. What's Castius? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven, and for this the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, well, you never die as Will you never die as well? I guess someday, I don't know. Never. Never. <laughs> Defy cast these gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins. 
for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. Not to all of them. This is fair. Okay, well, I found one constellation, but I'm going to leave it here. Um, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe if you like, uh, if you like this, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!